As I travel from place to place, some familiar... Being a, you know, a native Hawaiian of the place, you know, to take care of it is the most important thing we gotta do. Being a national park, we get a lot of visitors, yeah? So an important thing is just making sure the visitors know how they can take care of the area, you know? Uh, not leaving their trash, not uh, digging into the sand and caring for the animals, you know? We get plenty of turtles around here. This is like a sanctuary for them. It provides them with all the seafood they need, all that limo. The relationship that we have with water is, is really kind of a fascinating one too. Basically, water is, is your source of life. Um, everything depends on water, so water itself is, is revered as, as very sacred. In the Hawaiian language, the word for water is vai, and our word for wealthy is vai vai. So, with the idea that when you have plenty of water, that's what makes you a wealthy person. So to Hawaiians, fresh water was like gold. When you're living in a place like Kona, uh, we don't get too much rain around here. So, our freshwater ponds are our most important resource to us, you know, because that's where we get our fresh water from. Fish pond, it's a stone-built wall, the ones that we have here at Koloko, um, that pretty much tries to keep out the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> is what it's doing, which is a tough job, you know? This wall takes care of this fish pond, takes care of the fish that's in here. Uh, this was actually, in the olden days, what I would call, this would be the ice box for the people. So everybody here would want to eat. I think the villages along the coast from a thousand people, I mean, gathered all these stones, coastline, rolling it down from the coastline or bringing it in from the ocean to get this wall set up for raising fish for the people. Water comes in and the fish swim into the fish pond and there's a gate. So then the fish swim into this pond and they grow and they eat and then eventually they can't get out of the pond, you know? So whenever you need to catch fish, you know that those are the fishes that are stuck inside there. And hold their banners high. Working with the stones, I mean, you're not just moving any kind of stone. Uh, you're moving stones that was here 800 years ago uh, that our ancestors moved. I mean, the chiefs moved these stones. Some of these stones, Kamehameha moved himself. One of the biggest things we can do is maintaining the fish ponds, um, uh, maintaining the farmlands because by bringing in those practices, we, we start to see the, the hidden meanings behind things. Um, in our language, we, we call this kauna, um, and there is kauna in, in everything. This day and age, we've kind of become disconnected um, from that kauna, from those, those meanings, and from that relationship that we once had uh, with the earth, with the environment. Um, but by practicing the language and by actually practicing these traditions, working on the ponds, over time, we start to reconnect with the, all these different aspects of nature. And when we build those connections, uh, we improve our, our understanding. Our park has one of the biggest uh, stone walls to our fish pond. It shows the engineering skills of the Hawaiian people, you know, their idea of sustainability and how they knew. We only get one land, we only get one earth, so. Gotta take care of it. 